ladies, so uh, today we're going to look at hooking up a outlet, that, a box that has uh, two circuits in it. You got a black, a red, and a white for the neutral. You got a bare ground wire. You're going to have 220 between the uh, red and the black. You're going to have 120 between the red and the white, and 120 between the uh, black and the white. And the ground is tied in with the neutral at the main box. So here in the country I'm born in we do have a 220, 240 volts but it's a split phase and it's 120 volts on each side so uh, your standard outlets you plug into for your lights, your uh, radio, your clock, your TV, everything is 120 except for uh, your larger appliances like a very large air conditioner, uh, your electric stove, and your uh, electric dryer. So um, I'll show you how I wire this uh, two-circuit outlet. First, I got my jacket peeled off here. I'll take some electrical tape and I'll put it around here so that the uh, clamp of the Romex connector doesn't cut into the wire. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it as my own precaution so that I don't damage the uh, wires underneath with the, uh, the clamp of the Romex connector. So we put a Romex connector on the box here. You got to kind of turn the ring around so that you get it. So that's going to be tight when I tighten it with my pliers here. Tighten it, make sure it's nice and tight. I'll grab my, my screws here and I'll screw the box up onto the board here. Okay, I left the staple loose up here at the top, and I'll staple it down off camera. So I bring in the jacket, so you got like a half of an inch of it showing inside. And we'll tighten the clamp where the tape is. Okay, so we got our uh, three wires here. Now you can pull your tails out of a, another piece of Romex here, and I will uh, cut it about right here, and I'll pull out the wires that I'm going to be needing. And I'll pull out a second set of wires because I'm going to need a, a ground tail and the other white. So I will, uh, short enough now I can pull.
Okay, so we'll make our ground connections here. We'll get all our wires hooked up for the ground. So we're going to have one tail going to the box, one tail going to one outlet, and the other tail going to the other. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll start twisting them in. And I'll bring the third one in. I won't start twisting them really tight until I get them all in. I'll lay the fourth one in. Then I'll take my pliers and I'll twist them all together so they're even. Okay, after that I will take my uh, cutters and I will cut the end off so they're all even. And I will uh, put the red wire nut on. The maximum number of number 12s that can go in a red wire nut is four. Okay, so we have our three tails here. One will go to the green screw in the back of the box. So I'll loosen that green screw up. I'll take my needle nose pliers here, or the uh, some, some wire strippers come with like little pliers on them. I'll make a little loop the direction that the screw turns. Close that loop all the way around on that green screw and I'll tighten it up. Okay, so we have our uh, white wires ready to go next. So uh, we're going to use the uh, push in uh, connectors here. So we uh, strip off about a half of an inch with the number 12. And you have to make sure your wires are nice and straight when you put them in those connectors. So I'm going to put the first one in here. I feel the, the tooth biting. Push it in. Make sure the copper goes up. Put it in. I feel it hit the tooth. Push it. Make sure the copper goes up. Feel the tooth. And I see copper in the bottom here. So... I know the copper is going in, push it in, and see the copper go up to the top. So now we're ready to hook our outlet up. So we'll strip our wires here. I'm going to take off about an inch on each one. Alrighty, so now we're ready to hook the outlet up. I'll loosen up the screws that we're going to use. Ok, 
Okay, we'll hook a bare wire to the uh, green screw on this one. We'll put a one white wire on the silver screw on this one. I kind of pull back with my two other two fingers there to make sure the uh, I get the whole loop of wire under the screw. And we'll hook the uh, red wire to this outlet. Now we'll hook up our second outlet here. We'll open up the screws that we're going to be using. And we'll close the ones that we're not going to be using. Okay, so we'll start with our ground wire on this one. Okay, I made that loop too big, so I'm going to bring that back. I'll start over again. Okay, that copper came up out of the loop there, so I take it off. I'll loosen the screw up. Go in, close the loop a little bit better around the screw. And the uh, white wire will go on the silver screw here. There's what it looks like. Now we'll turn this over. And we'll hook our black wire up to the brass screw. And make sure the insulation does not go under the uh, the terminal there. And uh, there it is all done. I'll bring the camera up close so you can see what it looks like all done. There's the uh, orange push-in connector. Thanks for watching. That is uh, how we do wiring here in the country I'm born in. Thanks for watching. This is called a shared neutral split circuit.